Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. The fence is the first thing the owner of the cottage takes care of after building a house and summing up communications. A strong fence protects against the instruction of strangers, closes from prying eyes, decorates the local area. And that's not all. In addition to performing its direct functions, it also plays a symbolic role. It marks the boundaries of possessions, where a person feels like a sovereign master. What types of fences are there? How to choose the right type and material depending on the needs of each cottage owner? Criteria for choosing the type of fencing house Lot owners are guided by their own needs, choosing the type of fence for giving. Three main functions of the fence. Definition of boundaries, ensuring the safety of property, decoration of the landscape. All fences perform these functions to a greater or lesser extent. However, the owner is usually focused on one point. If it is important for the owner to simply mark the boundaries between the plots, a light fence or hedge of shrubs or other ornamental plantings will do. If special attention is paid to the issue of security, then a stronger and more reliable fence is needed. In any case, it is desirable that the design looks aesthetically pleasing and does not spoil the general appearance of the local area, and ideally, it decorates. It is good if the fence is easy to maintain and inexpensive to repair. The material and design of the structure are of fundamental importance. For example, wood is great for creating a country-style landscape. Weaker fences are used as an important element when decorating a site in a folk style. Stone and decorative finishing bricks are ideal for classics and weightless-looking open-work metal structures decorated with floral arrangements look very romantic. As for the material, the strength, durability and practicality of the fence depends on it. To correctly determine the functionality, the owner needs to objectively assess their own needs. The principle of choosing load-bearing structures and sheathing. Fences can differ significantly from each other, but structurally they are all the same. They consist of load-bearing elements and sheathing. As load-bearing structures, vertically poles and horizontal girders are used designed to secure the cladding and gates. It is logical to use the same materials from which the house is built as cladding materials. However, this is not always possible because weather and natural factors must be taken into account. Soil type Different soils have different ability to hold supporting structures, so the supports should be chosen taking into account the type of soil. Depending on the supporting pillars and the foundation, the choice of sheathing material may also change. Wind loads when building a fence in areas where strong gusts of wind are possible, its wind resistance is of a great importance. On open landscapes, more powerful structures must be erected than in the same climatic conditions but in densely populated areas. Structures built on a powerful foundation with slots or gaps between the cladding elements have good wind resistance. The general style of the design of the garden plot. The aesthetic component is also important, so the fence must be fit into the style of the site. Types of foundations for fences Usually two types of foundations are used, tape and pillar columna. The first is more preferable if you need to put a sheathing of massive materials. The technology for its creation is simple. Under the foundation, a ditch of the required depth is prepared, usually at least 30 cm. The strength and durability of the future structure depends on this. The bottom of the ditch is covered with crushed stone or gravel, moistened well with water. A reinforcing cage and formwork are installed in the prepared trench. The formwork is built in such a way that the monolithic foundation is about 20 to 40 cm high above the ground. Next, the structure is poured with a solution. If a fence is planned from separate spans, then they put the pillars at the right distance from each other. The columnar foundation is suitable for fences consisting of individual spans. It is done like this. 
Calculate the number of pillars focusing on the total length of the fence and the length of the spans. Pits are prepared by drilling them in the ground with an ordinary garden drill. Pits with a diameter of 20 cm are drilled to a depth of 1 meter. Pillars are installed in the pits. The correct location is checked by level and filled with cement, sand, mortar. Variety of materials for the construction of fences. Almost any materials can be used as fence cladding, and every year their variety is only growing. Fences made of the following materials are common. Metal. Fences are made of profiles sheet in the form of welded, forged structures, chain link mesh, finished sections, consisting of a metal corner with a stretched mesh. Tree. Use crocker, boards, vine. The most common type of wooden fence is a picket fence. Brick, stone, concrete. Euro fences for summer cottages are very popular now. These are strong and reliable designs. Their advantage is ease of assembly. Plastic polycarbonate. Plastic structures are not yet very common, but are gradually becoming more popular. Design and materials for the manufacture of fences vary markedly. You should choose focusing on the urgent needs and preferences regarding the appearance. If you have settled on a material that requires additional decor, consider decorating with climbing plants, wood carvings and metal forging. Sometimes even ordinary facade paint can completely transform the fence. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.